All right, g'day guys, and welcome back tonight to another Obsidian video. I've been working with a lot of my old data and uh, bringing it across from Realmworks. There's uh, hundreds of thousands of links, links everywhere. That's that's what Realmworks did, right? Is it just automatically created links to everything? And uh, I'll be the first to admit that uh, sometimes I didn't need those links. I went too far when I was first starting off and I used to make links to everything. I've got links to water, I've got links to wine, I've got links to how to roll a dice and you just don't need them all at the end of the day. Um, so when I came over to Obsidian, I started to think about, you know, well, which links do I need and which links can I afford to get rid of? Um, because, you know, too many links can be problematic when you're reading. Um, and honestly, like I, the way the linking works in Obsidian, I actually I'm starting to prefer it to be honest over Realmworks. If I'm completely honest, I like the fact there's a, a big long list of things to pick from, and it just it makes it quite efficient. Um, so yeah, obviously starting to think about you know how do I get rid of links? How do I clean this up? Or how do I even reverse that? If I want to add a whole bunch of links to something that I want to link all the time, can I do that? So let's go ahead and see if we can answer that question tonight. We're going to be using a program called Sublime Text, which has been recommended by one of the users on the uh, Facebook user uh, user group, uh, Obsidian user group. Um, and basically, it's, it's a fantastic application that I've just picked up and started using now, and I'm using it on a daily basis to basically really speed up what I'm doing here at Obsidian. So let's jump over and let's have a look. All right, so in front of me, just so we understand the problem, uh, you can see here I've got a topic that I've copied in from some of my other uh, content that I've brought over from Realmworks. And you can see all of these links, but you can see they're grayed out. Now what that means is the links don't actually exist. All right, and just to show you what I'm talking about, if uh, we expand out, I think we've got dad and mum and sis and all that sort of stuff. So if we come in here and we do a dad, all right, just to show you guys in case anyone new is watching this we can also do this without going links all right we can see that mum's been identified here so we can just come in here and click mum and that'll put the link in this is how i'm doing most of my linking to be honest it's it's a lot quicker than typing it in manually um, but when we go back into the preview mode uh, we can see here that they're red all right and that's the style that i'm using but also if we hover over them we can see that they're linking to something else so these are linking to the templates that i've used to create those topics so these are dead ones, all right? Now, if I click these, it's problematic because it's actually going to create an empty um, note with the same name. And I don't really want that because that's how you end up with sort of dead notes that are not leading anywhere. So the question is, how do I clean this up in bulk? Because I can go through, right? I can, I can go through and I can... Oh, sorry, we'll get back into this mode. I can go, let's get rid of all of this and all of this and just go back to the original text and that does remove the the link that's one way you can do it but that's going to take forever if you're doing that with you know a couple of hundred articles like i'm currently doing at the moment it's it's just not efficient so what we're going to do is we're going to use something called sublime text all right so what we're going to do go to sublimetext.com all right click download for windows assuming you're using windows and the application will obviously download and you need to go through the installation process. Now a note on this program, like this is just a text editor, right? There's lots of them out there. Uh, Notepad++ is another one that I commonly use. Um, and there are other applications out there that do um, text editing in bulk, um, but I just found this one's really simple. It's built in. I noticed with Notepad++, I had to go in and install some third-party um, plugins and things like that, which is, it just didn't work as well as this program does. And this is just super simple. So go ahead, do the uh, download and the install. Once you've got it running, all right, you can open it and it looks kind of like this. All right, now you can, you can open up some folders or some files of this thing, but this is the way I do it, right? As I go in file, and what I've been doing is going open folder. You can go open file if you want to open up just one file and work with one file. But if I go open folder, bring this over here. Um, we're going to come back to the demo vault. Um, cleaning example is where I'm working. So this folder here is where I'm going to work. Now, if this was a folder that had 100 topics, 100 notes, then it will clean up 
all of those at the same time and we'll, we'll probably do an example on that let's let's jump over here if I was to grab this and go new note new note, new note just for the purpose of testing obviously um, then we've got multiple notes for this to play with and if we go back to Sublime we can see that that's automatically picked up all of those notes um, if we click over here we can actually see what those notes contain all right and what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to try find something that we want to clean so let's say we want to get rid of all of the references to what have we got lots of of the curse of Strahd so this reference here is not working for us we want to get rid of it all right so we come over to here we've opened up folder all right that's the first step if you select the folder that contains the notes that you want to change and then you come over here to find and you go find in files now up here what are we going to find we're going to paste our text that we we found from uh, obsidian that we want to replace I'm going to come down here I'm going to paste it again but this time I want to actually change it so it doesn't have the brackets around it all right effectively I want to remove the brackets so it's no longer there I click replace it's searched it's found 16 occurrences across four files you can see that was nice and quick and then you click save all all right and now we go back in here and we can cursor stride is gone brilliant now you can get just to, to show you how this works as well you can come in here and grab let's say Barovia now in my world that was linked to the village of Barovia um, chapter 3 we want to get rid of that so as another example we come in here we get rid of that we click replace it's found 20 occurrences across four files we click, click save all all right and that's now removed that now obviously this can take a while but it, this is a lot quicker than you know dipping it one by one if you've got a hundred files and you know you've got a reference to let's say advantage or disadvantage and you know you don't need that anymore all right you're not using it then this is one way you can get rid of it on the other hand let's say you had lots of references to some text that you wanted to update we can go the other way all right we can come up here we can say let's find mum and if we find mum let's replace it with a link to the mum topic now before we do this just a note on this be careful with this <laughs> okay because depending on the word all right you could update a lot of things uh, it's probably safe to do it if it's like a named thing all right uh, but if it's just like a generic term like jump <laughs> you might want to be a bit careful right because you might end up with links all over the place but with that said we can click replace it's found seven occurrences across four files we can click save actually you see there there's a there's a danger we can click save and that's now replaced those all right so we can see the mum has now been updated with the links oh sorry I didn't click save all it's caught me a few times that and now we can see the links to mum are there and you can see that that automatically now links through to mum all right but what we did do when we did that was we created this one here because it found mum all right in between these brackets this is where I said you have to be careful what you can do is you can do something like this if you wanted to clean it up click replace right so you can do it just on top of each other and then that cleans that back up to mum so as I said be careful with this it's it's an idea that I'm throwing around in my head on how to link things quickly but you know you want to be careful how you do this maybe if you're going to do it do it one or two folders at a time or in a place where you know it's going to give you benefit but is restricted to content where it's going to work and as I said like you know if you're doing Castle Ravenloft you know that's a, a named thing that's very specific it should be safe to do but if you're doing something simple like jump run um, roll <laughs> uh, what's some other ones I've had time yeah don't do time that was a bad one that was a bad idea uh, <laughs> but anyway yeah, that, that's pretty much it it's a it's a, it's a handy uh, functionality obviously that can really sort of speed up everything you're doing 
Now, just while we are on this topic, I just wanted to, to throw another one out there. You can see here that I've been using a, uh, a common website that people use to sort of get data from. Um, and this one here has got uh, module data and you can see here that it's got these little things here that I want to clean out. So I'm just going to quickly come in here and say, I don't need these. So I'm going to get rid of them. It's found six replaces. All right, come back in, they're gone. But also one thing with this is uh, when I cut and paste from this website, it brings over all of these links that exist in the HTML. Okay. And I don't want that because when I'm doing my uh, application inside of um, of Obsidian, I like to keep everything inside Obsidian. You could certainly keep these links and they will open up in a web browser. Um, and you look, there's nothing wrong with that. It will certainly work. And for some people, that'll just be a time saver. And they'll just say, well, hey, why not? I'm a bit OCD. I, I don't want it to link outside. I want it to link within my own vault and I want it to link to something that I've created and I control. So that's just the way I like to operate. Um, but anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to find out how to get rid of that data. And I'm just on the other screen. I'm just copying this content again. I'll just show you the way you can do it. So we'll just go into edit mode. We'll just, um, control a to select everything and then delete we'll reset our topic. And then what we're going to do here is normally we can go control V and that's exactly how I get back to where I was. If I control Z to undo that, what I can do is do control shift V and you can see that now paste nice and clean without any of the linking. All right. So this is very similar to the method that I'll be used to use in Realmworks. We used to do the control shift alt V, I think it was, and it used to allow you to change the, uh, the formatting options. I'm loving this method because it's obviously nice and quick. Um, and if you've seen my other video on text format, you'll notice that there are ways to get rid of the break lines and stuff as well. So, you know, once you combine all of these things together, they really start to allow for some efficient sort of data entry and data cleaning up. So anyway, that's, uh, that's Sublime Text. As you can see, it's a simple application. Um, it's, it's very quick to use. It's, uh, it makes it so it's nice and efficient for all of the changes that you do within the, uh, within the tool. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you find that useful. So anyway, guys, if you're enjoying this content, please do like, and subscribe using the buttons below. Uh, also big thanks to my Patreons, uh, really enjoying working with you guys. Um, yeah, I've uh, certainly got some spark back into my D and D big thanks to obsidian. This is a fantastic application. And look, if you're watching this video coming over from something like uh, world anvil realm works, um, there's a host of other things, but look, they're all terrible. Come and play with obsidian. It's a fantastic application. I think you really enjoy it. So anyway, guys have a great night and I'll speak to you on the forums.